Do you have the essential understanding about the graphic design and the creative industry? Do you want to make it a profession? Do you want to start earning a well-paying salary or an income with freelancing or both? I have done this in my life. I love my work and I am extremely contented from within. Here's a special message for those who want to turn their creative passion to profession, who wants to earn money and build a great identity but are not aware of how to do it or didn't find an affordable or valuable education provider a mentor. Hi, I'm Rosh and I want to kickstart your design career in simple tried and tested ways in as less time possible because I've done it myself and I've learned it the hard way and I want to help you understand it in a very easier way. If you are looking for something like this, then pay very close attention. You know how graphic designing and other multimedia skills work in the real world and how it pays? Do you have any idea? Here are a few possibilities. You can do social media management, you can make ads, making marketing materials, communication materials, content, videos, illustrations, memes, sketches, all that you see in today's digital world are a huge possibility where you can deliver services and earn money. Now, how much do you earn? To begin with, the salary ranges from around 2000 rupees to 5000 rupees, sorry, 50,000 rupees to begin with. And freelancers are earning a range of 25,000 rupees to 250,000 rupees and more depending on the experience. So it definitely begins lesser, but the better your portfolio becomes, the better you become good at communication and finding the right opportunities, it definitely multiplies. It definitely comes with practice, hard work and clarity. Okay. So there is hard work, there is practice and the more you become cl clear about how this whole thing works, then you can climb higher and get better income each month. Okay. Now let's address some issues. Situation one, a person who is graduated, but didn't find a job. So he or she chooses to upskill with graphic designing and learned a few tools and now is that person is trying to find a job okay next the person of oh, another person takes up graphic designing classes but have no clarity on ultimately what the work will be okay so the that person just learned certain tools but how the life will be of a designer they had no clue okay and with, without that clue, they started struggling because what it takes in the real world, that person had no idea. Another situation where a person found that his friend who is creative and earning a lot of money in the graphic designing industry chooses that, okay, let me also do it by myself and I'll also earn like him, but didn't actually find out whether it is of his interest and uh, whether he also is good at it the the suitability factor was not checked okay he did it because it looks really cool there's another situation where a person took up an expensive course in graphic designing hoping that his package also will start from one lakh rupees per month there's another situation where a person took up an entire degree in graphic designing spent three years okay and then realized that the like after joining realized that it, uh, he, he or she does not enjoy as much designing as that person thought it would be okay so that person actually enjoyed doing other things like management um, coding or i would say marketing but just because the designing looks cool uh, 
uh, after taking a degree later realized that oh no this is not for me but because it already uh, that person had already joined continued to pursue it for the next 3 years and felt stuck in it another situation a person has completed designing classes but is not getting job regretting the decision why did this all happen okay so one has to keep in mind as to what it exactly takes to do it and what will be the final outcome so that clarity one has to already have so here are a points few points that you need to understand clearly graphic designing and multimedia industry is an unconventional field here book knowledge or giving exams and all that doesn't work okay this is completely dynamic and practical field you understand the market you put in your creativity you make designs and work on projects and that work will speak for itself okay and it's also dynamic every now and then changes will come new tools will come the tool upgrade will come uh, the industry standards or the market's needs will update so you have to be a good learner also so this is this trait is something you need to enjoy okay so this is one important fact you need to understand next though the potential is extremely high only that person will win who has clarity on their strengths on what they and also clarity on what they want to do what they want to become and they need to have a good portfolio now what what's a portfolio let me explain uh, by showing my portfolio so now th- this is my website where i have completely explained how uh, my experience has been i put case studies okay so these are the projects i have worked on so this was the requirement and this is what i delivered so it's completely documented and then section wise i have come here and uh, put graphic design uh, as a different section where the different graphic designs that uh, i have worked on um is listed category wise so this is a portfolio where anybody who wants to check my credibility will see the work and then decide okay so this is how uh, what's a portfolio is an example of your already work that you have done before okay certificates do not matter real time work showcase and portfolio matters especially case studies really help because that gives an example okay this person knows what it takes to take a work understand it and deliver with at the satisfaction of the person who has given the work and if someone has done well it does not mean that you also will do okay so it is very important to analyze well about the industry what are the tools that will work what exactly you have to deliver how your life will be take guidance from people who have already done it see complete clarity and only then proceed with complete clarity and confidence because that time what will happen is whatever you invest to uh, choose to invest your money time and efforts it will justify and you will have confidence even if uh, the challenges come you will be motivated to act work extra and make sure that you win at the end okay so it's not only the money it is the time and efforts and expectations all of it has to be understood and worked out well then now let's understand the potential of the market so these are the range of possibilities and in fact much more you can be a graphic designer a web designer so whatever websites and all that you see uh, uh you uh, is first designed by a gra- so th- this is on a website is a graphic okay it's done by a graphic designer but a web designer completely plans how many pages should be there uh, what should be the where graphic should come where the text should come and the uh, where an animation should come what should be the whole user experience okay that is done by a uh, web designer then there is an animator uh video editor uh, ui ux designer for mobile apps that we use there is huge demand for people who can actually deliver good designs that help users be engaged okay and uh, animator multimedia content creator there are a range you, if you are good at illustrations in cartoons you can be an illustration artist but all in all 
there is a good demand for social media manager who can plan the content who can uh, decide which tool has to be used when as per the requirement who can design the content who can make short videos and who can publish it an end to end solution provider has a great demand in the market because people would choose to hire one person as opposed to a range of people and spend more now with the penetration of internet reach in smaller cities and even at villages so that is how digital the world has gone now and especially india um, there is uh, and th- there were complex tools before but now there are simple tools which have come up and easier tools and more powerful tools have come up ai has come which has uh, which has been helping to make our work much easier faster and beautiful so the it a new range of opportunities have popped up which did not even exist a decade ago so a combination of a good trainer a student with creative passion as well as that hunger to do something and businesses who are looking for such creative people this is a great combination so i am here to train i am looking for students who are passionate and hungry we will uh, together make sure that you learn it well and then i connect you to businesses who are helping who are looking for people uh, for creative people to join their creative team okay along with that how to look for job how to look for freelancing how how you can do both all of that is something i'm looking forward to explain you and train you okay it's been observed that a youth who graduates after three spending three or four years after spending lot of money efforts a job is not guaranteed okay because uh, we see there is so much of unemployment in the world and uh, the problem is that the education is taken but the practical application of it was not addressed probably the college taught but the per- student was not able to understand or sometimes uh, uh, the technical knowledge is there but there is no confidence or there is no communication basically the end was not analyzed before getting into it and that's why the person either does not get a job or forced to do something that uh, they do not like okay so this is also a fact and that's why there is a lot of unemployment in the world so the same person if they go and do a certification course spending more money and effort could get a job there's an option there could be a possibility right but the problem is that majority of them do not do proper research they just feel that okay this looks cool let me go and do it i'm here again and again emphasizing on the fact that do a research on the potential of what outcome will be there talk to people with experience and you analyze whether it suits you okay so uh, it's like a singer trying to become a cricket player a cricket player trying to go and become a chef at least that person need to have a basic understanding about what exactly that person is good at or enjoys doing right so that is when you have to do some small test run and then understand whether it suits you okay and my strong inputs for you to do a proper research by asking the following questions what will i exactly get at the end what is the credibility of the trainer how does it suit me or no or am i just trying to do it for the sake of doing it how does the industry work how can i keep working to ensure that i you know get the actual goal the end goal of earning well as well as having a satisfactory job will acquiring a new design skill a graphic designing skill a multimedia skill help me get all of it you make sure you ask these questions and you be very clear you may have a question how to test or find out wh- whether i should learn this skill okay watch a lot of videos on youtube and get a fair idea okay then you can talk to an expert and take guidance based on their real time experience okay then you can talk to the industry recruiters okay because ultimately they will be looking for the right talent and they will help you set the right expectations and uh, as to how the industry works and what do they look for in a professional okay and how the life 
of a professional or designer in the space is and how what will be the pay pay scale everything you will get to know so talking to a recruiter will also give you a perfect idea then you can test test run by taking a short term class or you know without investing much time and money and also you can go to go and do a proper full fledged course once you or uh, take up a class once you are clear that this is what you exactly want to do either you can test run it or you can directly get on to learning provided you have the clarity if you have any questions on how to make a career in this field and you want some guidance you can also chat with me download my app go to this link uh, www.rosh.1 and uh, you will get proper idea and uh, because you can ask questions with me because sometimes when you do your research you may need some real person to answer your question so you can download my app and then uh, chat with me i'll be able to give you as much guidance for free that that's not charged at all because i want as many people to come into this industry provided they have the proper clarity honestly you can practice everything using youtube for free okay because i have learned a lot using youtube and i owe a lot to youtube okay but the thing is i was already a professional like working in this field and whenever i needed clarity i was very clear what i'm looking for so when once i went to youtube and then checked i used to get the lot of clarity but the problem is one who is beginning okay for them the learning curve will be really long so the you will have to do a lot of trial and error and there is no real person to guide then there won't be a structure to that learning you just have to experiment which also could be an option but rather if there is a better learning place where there is better learning flow and right outcome defined outcome then you will get better result in less time possible because time is a very critical aspect if you feel it would be easy that if you had a tried and tested learning flow a dedicated mentor then i have something really awesome for you i would like to introduce you to my 100 days graphic multimedia classes okay that is it's it's called primarily it is graphic designing but it is beyond that it is multimedia multimedia refers to the range of things like videos content social media website graphics it's a combination of all the digital way of creating content and uh, here the main focus is on that range so multimedia mastery the goal is to make you an end to end solution provider so overview you here get to learn in depth graphic designing okay now what is a graphic design uh i'm sure you know but still let me give you uh, that uh, previously i was showing you uh, uh, my portfolio right so if you see all the range posters banners letter heads um um uh, resume design t-shirt design uh, product label design so the, all the visual entities that you see around you okay uh, festival wishes um you know caricatures there is a huge range you can come to my website and see the entire portfolio so you as a designer will end up creating really interesting and creative artworks as a graphic designer okay then here you get to learn the right process the of working on a design project and tools like canva photoshop ai based tools and the most importantly how to do it fast okay so you will learn how to plan it well design it properly as per the requirement and with speed so the clients today or the boss who will recruit you will not be bothered of how you will do it they ultimately want a person to be solution oriented so you should know how to quickly plan things uh, decide which tool to use when you cannot say that okay i know photoshop so i'll only use photoshop the gone are those days now you need to know be very smart to decide okay based on the budget based on the time frame what the expected delivery is you need to choose the right tool and then accordingly use it and ultimately deliver them the right output in the 
expected budget and within the time so speed is extremely important here and how to do that is the main emphasis okay you learn to create all types of graphic designs which i gave a small demo of with supporting skills in content video making and social media management the problem is in old uh, previously like around 10 years back the a company would recruit a content writer separately a video maker separately a social media manager separately but now with tools being evolved and with the market becoming more matured um, the expectation is uh, that and also at that time there would be clear instructions given by a manager but now they expect a person to actually give the input from your side and also become an end to end solution provider so that their headache is taken care of okay so that is the main requirement and which mostly in today's market that flow or that mindset is not built so i will be focusing on giving you that okay so becoming making you an industry ready professional now before we go ahead let's understand the market so i have addressed this let me tap it once again so until the time when the tools were not evolved and companies hired for specific tools like i need a photoshop artist i need a corel draw artist i need a after effects artist okay uh, once upon a time okay uh, i would say around 2005 to 2010 11 12 or maybe 15 or so okay now the last 4 5 years things have really changed okay the internet speed and availability also was not advanced at that time and if someone learns a tool to operate that was sufficient okay a specific tool but today the primary worry of a company is getting attention a big big company or small company they need attention to get attention they have to post content regularly and it has to be eye catching why they need attention to get more customers to get more uh, and get more sales that's as simple as how a business should operate this means the company has to hire content writers video makers graphic designers social media specialists separately right but that is a costly affair because they have to pay everybody separately so and they have to manage bigger team they need to give them that many resources so the costs multiply okay and also they do not want to deal with multiple people they want to deal with as less people possible so there is one more significant change which has come in the industry that is previously there was a team lead uh, who used to give so even now it is there but largely the expectation is that they would give you a requirement at that time a lead would be like a director they would, they would tell what exactly to be done but now the expectation more is that the candidate or the person recruited should tell what to do and then take care of that requirement okay uh, so for that i have to prepare my students to tell how a project works uh, how to choose a tool how to design it amazing way in as less time possible and so that the you become a reliable solution provider just being a designer won't work in today's world okay so today companies want candidates to tell them what to do they want proactive people who can provide solutions and not just operators before there were limited tools okay now every week month okay sometimes next day if you check there is a new update or a new tool that has come up so which means the tools are just only a way to get the required output main thing what is required is the right marketing mindset see ultimately a business runs by marketing okay and a designer cannot say that okay i am a designer give me just the designing work because if you do not know the end result of a designer's work is that it has to go out people have to see it and respond to it it is not like um you are going to design it and then just keep it to yourself that time you need not have all these skills if it is hobby for a personal work but if you are designing it for somebody and the main goal of the design will be that there has to be uh, an outcome right the more people have to see it and the brand who is publishing it has to get benefit that means you need to have the marketing mindset as well so the right planning of a project knowing when to use which tool okay not just using the tool which you know 
we should know which tool has to be used and then we should also make sure that you know how to operate it okay so that is when your reliability will increase so how to get the best result in least time possible and quick so and you need to be a continuously continuously and quick learner so these are all the things that you need to understand okay and what makes multimedia mastery by school of fashion this amazing class different is that it starts with keeping the end in mind okay we do not uh, first start teaching and then you start learning and then at the end figure out okay let me now start uh, uh, seeing for some opportunities or maybe if there are opportunities or no all that gray area will be there by my experience of whenever i have seen when so when a new person start to look for opportunities for earning okay here we start with the end in mind okay here in this class the right methodology is given where the right goals okay of an individual are set by themselves as per their strengths okay so as a designer you need not know everything you should know the right process you should know the right way of delivering clients of looking for clients you should know the business side of it how to uh, charge for a project how to deliver how to commit okay timelines that whole thing oh, it needs a proper mindset and the financial understanding also needs to be strong along with that the technical skills or the creative skills are mandated okay so the goals are set as per a strengths of of a person some person may be artistic can sketch well other person may not be a good sketcher but is a great thinker with great thoughts great ideas so that person by knowing the right kind of a tool will be able to get equally good output okay so but the other person who has good sketching skills can also leverage it and try to build their niche their core co- you know unique competency okay so unlike our conventional education system i do not force people to follow that flow which i have given and just blindly follow it i encourage questioning so here the it begins with setting the goals as per individual strengths okay if you are good in content then focus on content if you are good in project management focus on project management and have the other skills as secondary okay so this combination will help you set your uniqueness better and enjoy this whole learning process okay so after the strengths or the goals are set then the milestones are set accordingly then we build